It's pretty cool. <coughs> okay, and now to the best part. The products that I am using. Sorry, I have to sneeze. <coughs> the products that I'm currently using right now in my hair. And it's, it's kind of a lot. I don't use them all at the same time. I use them in like different conjunctions. I'm in the process of trying out different things what I like. And I already had some curly products before in my... Um, in my um, dorm because I had curly weave and I got a whole bunch of curly products there so I already had a lot of curly stuff here already but some things are pretty much done and I'm just deciding if I like it on my on my hair if I want to keep it or like buy things some of the stuff's kind of expensive and I'm just like oh like we can't be buying all this stuff if I don't like it so I'm just going to show you what I'm working with right now and like I said if you like the products or if you've seen these products and you know they're bad or something tell me please like don't don't have me going buying things that I'm not gonna like. Like help me out. Like we can help each other. So first things first. I'm talking about what I use to style, and I'm going to be reaching down. So I'm gonna probably like go down for free. I'm trying to go down nicely, cause I have about like 10, 11 products on my floor probably. And first thing, and not all of them, but. My flexi rods, and I'm thinking about getting some in different sizes because I see people use them. But maybe get some in some smaller sizes to really get some more defined curls. But I've been using these, and basically for my hair at night, I just do like a basic twist, take this, and I try to like roll the ends up more than anything because my ends always come undone. Like even like wet it or whatever it's like just to make sure it's like clean curl I want the ends to have like a little curl to it and they're fake type easy to sleep in last night was easy to sleep in but mm, two nights ago I did it I don't know maybe I did it wrong or something or flexi rod them wrong it was just hurting I was like in just dire pain sleeping like trying to find a spot last night I slept like a baby I woke up pretty early and finally like, a piece of the hair stuck to it like because these are just banged up and used and maybe I need to get a new pack. But these are my things I use to roll my hair up at night. I think I want to get perm rods, but I'm just trying to think sleep friendly, sleep friendly. And these are pretty sleep friendly except for that one night, but I think that's my fault. So I have those, toss those back there, and let's talk treatment since that's the first thing here. I have these one's my friend's that she left here she said she doesn't like it so i was using it just to try it out because she left me a couple products just to try out to see if i like them on my own like some things that she like pretty much almost halfway done with so like she's like yo here try these out so i have a couple of things like this one's mine and i got this before and this is the rapid i thought my camera rapid recovery treatment by miss jessie's and this is just a regular like hydrating treatment and it's like such so it's essential for Ugh. the essential deep treatment for repairing dry brittle curls so I have that one and then I have the super sweet back treatment by Miss Jessie's again I have a lot of Miss Jessie things if you guys like Miss Jessie's tell me if it's good or bad still want your comments yes I'm asking a lot but yes but the super sweet back treatment one with this one this one's a it's one, this one's different than this one because this one allegedly we like I looked it up this one's a protein treatment and it has like protein it tells you like use it like once a week but you're I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use protein that much anyway like I think it's supposed to like at least wait two weeks but I only use this because I used it the first time when I first went natural and I first like took my braids out from my weave and was just like use this and then I used it again a couple of days ago when I bleach my hair because you want to add more protein after you bleach your hair that's the thing so I've just been using this but I usually like this one more and my friend who does have natural hair that's had it way longer than me she actually loves the one like when I, I swear she got this one I got this one she was just like I like this one more, more better than this one that you got and I'm like oh sorry but these two things but I really love this one love sorry some of the people I live in the dorm, so I'm probably going to be looking back 95% of the time because I think I hear something and I just don't want, like, no one to walk in and be like, what are you doing, trees, or what? And then people are just loud in my hallway. The people, like, this is the weekend or what? They are screaming, fighting. One day I walked out there and it was just craziness, getting off topic. But, okay, those are treatments. And let's talk, let's talk shampoos. Is this the first thing I have? 
to grab. Okay. Some other things my friend left here for me to try. And one that I actually fake light from the couple times I washed my hair was this is all jacked up. This is the Cantu Shea Butter. Like, I think this one was like returned or something or damaged and it like sealed all the stuff back on it. But this is the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Cream Shampoo. And I actually really like this when I wash my hair. It feels good, like, I don't know, like a real good feeling is, but this one feels good. And I've been, I use the um, raw shea butter moisture retention shampoo. And <coughs> I feel like every natural person has this shea butter. I remember before I even went natural, I was using this on my weaves. Like, I think everyone gets the shea moisture things. But this is good too. I've been using this and I like this. I think I'm going to get the um, Biotin one, the gray pack one shampoo next time. But this, these two, fake really love this one. I don't know why. Like this one makes my hair feel way better. And they're both like shea butter. But this one just feels like, and this one's cheaper too. I think this one's like, like four, three bucks from like Family Dollar or Dollar General. This is like standard 10, but if you were like the Ulta, they like buy one and get one 50%. Also, you always like buy one, get like a shampoo or like the treatment or styling product where they like have all. But those two, I'm just in and out of the frame putting things down. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab, I'm really, oh, since we did shampoo, conditioner, I'm just really going back to from treatments, shampoo, conditioners, but here's the conditioner. Oh, I got two conditioners down here. And What's the point of having the Shea Moisture if you didn't have the conjoining Shea Moisture conditioner that I love? I like to put like a little bit of this because you use this as a like leave-in too. I use it more as a leave-in than anything. And you just like put like a little, like a little small dollop on my ends when I'm like flexi riding them so it won't be too dry. They're more my hair's more springy. Like people say my hair's been springy and curly, so I'm like yes. So I would just use this and. I'm so happy. I've been using this. Like, if you had a weave, you know that the Herbal Essence Blue Conditioner is supposed to be like the bombest thing to use on weaves, and it's like three bucks. I have the Family Dollar brand. Don't judge me. I really went to get the regular Herbal Essence today at Family Dollar, and they actually didn't have the conditioner. They only had their brand and the shampoo of the Herbal Essence, so I had to get their brand of conditioner. But it's supposed to be the same thing, and this is bomb. Somebody told me to use this more as like, use this as like a you put it in your hair when it's dry to comb it out like a pre-poo or you can use it like it's supposed to be really good to help detangle your hair so I've been using this well I haven't used this yet I'm a natural I've been using more of my weed but natural people have said it's good and I'm just gonna try it next time when I wash my hair probably it's like the pre-poo more than anything to like detangle my hair before I wash it or condition it whatever I decide to do when it's that day but I've been using that and this one I'm so sorry. I'm really getting sick. Like, joy to the weather. And let's get to the best part. The styling products. I'm just going to put, pick everything up and put it all in my lap. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Basically, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to go with these three products right now. These three are my last Miss Jessie products, I swear. I think Miss Jessie's was having a fake sale one day, and I was just buying up things because I just I just hear honestly if I hear things or read about things I'm just like oh, I try it. And these I got way before when I had my curly weave, so I was using these. And the ones the quick curls, and this is like a cream. This is um a cur quick cream curl, so to help like dry your hair faster and like really help with your curls. And I'm using this majority because. I was using the pillow soft and this one's pretty much empty now so I only use the pillow soft on good days. But I think I over the hood curls and the pillow soft, I kind of like the pillow soft. I don't know, I feel like I like the pillow soft way more because it really feel like it does make my hair a little bit softer than this one. But I've been using this one regularly because this one's full to the top. I just got this one because I got this one first and I was like I want to try the hood curls one too and I got this one after. But if I repurchase this one and just finish this one up. but. I really like this one just to when you do your whole lock method. I don't know if you know what that is. Like the leave in, like oil, and then curl cream thing to like seal your hair in method. So I like to use the pillow soft more than anything, but I just use the quick curls lately because, like I said, this thing's legit 
full to the top and this was pretty much done so I try to use this on like special days and this was just on a regular day so those and then I don't use this all right I plan on using this on my wet hair because I have curl formers and I want to do it on my curl formers on my hair because this tells you do not use this on dry hair use this on wet hair so I haven't really used I use it on my weave and I fake loved it on my weave like put on my weave and then like diffuse it maybe for like a wash and go this would be really nice but I haven't done a wash and go because when I do my hair I blow it out to really get like the lot like elongation so I'm getting no shrinkage but I plan on using this when I use my curl formers probably like next week I just want to try I really want to try my curl formers because I have curl formers and I want to try them out but this is cool too I guess it was cool on my weave I don't know about really natural people I've seen people, naturally, where they liked it, like they just do wash and goes with it because you're only supposed to use it on wet hair. You didn't know that, now you know. Don't put on your dry hair, it will get flaky. So, but, these three are in my curl starter kit, basically. I'm going to drop that. <coughs> Life wouldn't be the same if you didn't have a heat protectant. Like I said, I blow out my hair. To do the style like I wash it blow it out and then I just be working on it through the week doing twist outs or putting the flexi rods or doing twist out and flexi rods or bad two knotting whatever but the spray your hair heat protecting you don't put heat on it I like the tresemme if you like the the red one's cool too sorry the side <laughs> get it together she but back to it this is my ultimate I like the I don't know what the difference between the platinum and the red one is. I just tried the red one all the time and I said, ooh, platinum strip, might as well try it. But it's the same little Tresemme heat protecting the spray. Red or black, red or black, red or purple, whatever, whichever one you decide. Good heat protectant. It's only like four bucks, three, four bucks. Can't go wrong with this. No natural person isn't complete if you don't get the raw cold press organic coconut oil and if you don't know about coconut oil I've learned this you have to get it cold pressed if you get raw just coconut oil organic coconut oil it's still it's gonna be like it's not technically raw it's still gonna be like I guess organic like it's still gonna be good but it's not at its purest form when it's cold pressed it is its purest form and this coconut oil quick tidbit it's really good to cook with I have a separate one for cooking like it doesn't make your food really taste coconutty, but it does. I like cooking. If you like to cook, I really like using coconut oil to cook with over regular oil. And it's healthier to use, and it's better. But no natural person. And I got this coconut oil from. I don't know if you know what, like a big lots or like an odd job lot is. Like they sell like discount stuff. They had like a whole bunch of these coconut oils, but you get from the grocery store. Amazon, anywhere, like a lot of grocery stores carry coconut oil now, even like little rinky deep cheap cheap ones too. Cause sorry, my video cut off. Talking about the coconut oil down. All right, let's finish the video before the camera cuts off again. I only have two more products. Well, two fake products. Okay, just use this one. Probably just um, Redken Shine Brilliance. Another thing I had. When I had my weave, when I like straighten my weave out, but I've been using it for my um natural hair. I pretty much when I do my twist outs, I, like when I like do all this, I just like put a little on my hands, like rub it down the um the twist just to make it shiny. It's just I think it makes it like shiny, it makes it a little bit more not so dull. But I've had it already. It's been in my little like, sis kit, my hair kit. So I was like, I just wanted to add it and try to use it with my natural hair. But this is the Red Can Shine Brilliance. It's just whatever, it's a little thing. Ah, uh, dropped it. Okay. And, alright, do not read this bottle. This is not the Mark Anthony has hair all over it. This is not the Mark Anthony Dream Spray, Dream Waves, whatever it's called. This is not it. This is a plain bottle with water and this. Well, it's like a little bit of this and water and diluted chicken in the bottle. So when I want to saturate my hair, I just spray it down. I didn't have a real spray bottle and I had this. So I just emptied the bottle because I wasn't even using this anymore. This is more for my for another product that I use for my weaves. I just poured out the, all the all the Dream Wave stuff out of it because I fake didn't like it, and I just been spraying it on. Doesn't have the fun coconut spray smell that I had before, but 
just use that spray my conditioner water on it and just keep my hair looking nice but <clears throat> those are all the products that I've used and that's it I think I wanted to show you how I saw my hair before I go to bed, but I'm actually not going to bed right now and I have somewhere to go, <laughs> so I can't do it. Maybe I'll film it later and add it on, like a quick little tidbit, but if this is my last video, then I will see you guys in another video, probably about God knows what, but that I will be making videos, so subscribe to this channel. This is a new year for me and I'm just, I have more time to do things, so I am really just want to get into making my videos. So you want to check me out more please subscribe and have a blessed day and thank you guys and goodbye